Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the code 1788. Maximize the beauty of the garden. So it's a log problem and it's a hard problem. Let's take a look at how to solve this problem. So let's take a look at the problem first. So it's a garden of n flowers and each flower has an integer beauty value. So flowers are arranged in a line. So we are given an integer array of flowers of size n and each flower's eye represents the beauty of the eye's flower. Note, a garden is valid if it meets the two conditions. First, the garden has at least two flowers. Secondly, the first and the last flower of the garden have the same beauty value. For example, in example one, the first value is one, but the last value is two, so it's not a valid garden. So we are as an appointed gardener we have the ability to remove any flowers from the garden. So we want to remove flowers in a way that makes the remaining garden valid. And the beauty of the garden is some of the beauty of all the remaining flowers. We need to retain the maximum possible beauty of some valid garden after we have removed any flowers. So in the first example, we can remove this one. So we get two, three, one, two, which is eight. And for this example, we know there's only one 100. So it's, it, we have to remove it. And we can remove this negative three. So we keep one, 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 which is three. For this example, we can just keep negative one, negative one. So that we have negative two. Of course, it's okay to keep this zero, but the value does not change. Okay, let's take a look. Um, at how to solve this problem. Okay. Um, so the constraint is pretty large. This is an, so we know an O n square solution cannot pass. So maybe we need a, like O n square cannot pass. So probably we need an O n solution. First of all, if it's interview, we can give a naive solution first we can just for loop every index and we use a double for loop. If for these two index, if the beauty are same, then we can use i as a start point and use j as end point, then calculate the maximum sum between i, j, right? For example, at first i is zero. So when j is three, we can get eight. And when j is here, we can get another value. And when j is here, we can get another one. Next, i is one. So when j is four, we have um, here, right? Next, i j can be like this and this. And we keep move i and can be this. So for each green block, we calculate the sum and we um, update the result. But it's a O N like O N to the three solution. How can we improve it? To calculate sum, we can use perfect, perfect sum. So we can improve um, this algorithm to O N square, but it still gets TLE, right? Okay, let's take a look. So assuming this is our tree, we need to, to find uh, this is end point. So we need to find a start point but we have three uh, possible solutions, right? So let's think about if, if this is an point, which start point is best point? So this is a little bit greedy. We know that as long as uh, like earlier the start point is, like we can in include more um, elements since we can remove any negative elements. So the earlier the start point is, like the maximum, like the more number we can include and the more value, the more beauty we can get, right? So the first one is the best if we fix the tree at this position. Okay, so, and to calculate the sum, we can just use perfect sum. Let's just go through one example. So we just have a pointer for every element. At first, we uh, pointer is here. So sum is one. We update our perfect, perfect sum. 
So for built value one, the prefix sum is one. And uh, we only update it once since the first time we met this number, the prefix is the greedy one, the, the one we want to use later. Next, sum is three. So beauty two has prefix sum three and beauty three has prefix sum six. Okay, next we're at one. We find in the map, there is already a one in the map. So we can use this at end point and use this one as a start point. And we can calculate the beauty sum. So sum is this sum minus the perfect sum. And we need to add the start point and the end point. So we plus two multiply one, which is uh, seven here. Okay, now result is seven. We keep moving. Okay, for two, it's also a start point in the math. We calculate the sum minus map two plus two multiply two, which is eight. Okay, next it's one. Then we can calculate again and we update our result to 10. Next is five. We update the map to include prefix sum of five, which is 15. Okay, next one, we calculate the result which is also sum minus map one plus two multiply one, which is 16. Okay, let's take a look at implementation. We have this map and we initialize result to integer minimum and return result at last. And this sum is our perfect sum. So one uh, thing we need to, like I need to um, point out thing is for this sum, we only record supportive sum since between the start point and end point, we need to get the maximum beauty. And for negative beauty, we can just remove them, right? So for our perfect sum, we don't need to include negative beauty. So this sum only records the positive number, the positive beauty. Okay, so we follow each flowers and for beauty, if it appeared previously, so we can use the current beauty as end point and use the previous and use the beauty in the map as the start point and we can calculate the result. And for this sum, we only record the positive number. And if it's the first time we see this beauty, then we update our map to set the perfect sum for this beauty. Okay, this solution is very short. It's our own solution. Thanks, see you next time.